Earlier this week, News Director Mike Maloof sat down with Norfolk County Sheriff Jerry McDermott to talk about how COVID has affected the Norfolk Sheriff's Department. Right away, we started um, asking people to take seriously cleaning and sanitizing, um, you know, covering their nose and their mouth if they coughed or sneezed, those types of things. But then as it grew more serious, and we got close to the point in early March when the governor was ordering a state of emergency, um, you know, we all took, took other measures. So we immediately put in place some protocols where, um, you know, nobody could come into the building without having the temperature checked. We stopped all contact visits um, first, and then we stopped all non-contact visits. We had non-essential workers stay home. Uh, we limited the number of vendors, except for the essential ones, of course, that bring food or medical um, equipment or PPE, personal protective equipment, up to the House of Correction. Uh, so it certainly has impacted us a lot. Um, the other thing that it's impacted is um, the courts. So as you know, the Norfolk County Sheriff's Office, we receive our inmates either through the courts or their safe keeps from places like Norwood Police Department. Um, it impacted us because it hasn't been normal operations for quite some time at the courts. Everything's now virtual arraignments, uh, video conferencing for any kind of hearings or motions. Um, we also saw, Michael, the Supreme Judicial Court rule against the 14 county sheriffs and seven district attorneys and say that due to the COVID-19 virus, they would like certain inmates that are pre-trial with underlying medical conditions, and um, the list was pretty extensive, to be allowed out and then turn themselves back in within 14 days after the state of emergency ends. Um, you, you can imagine some of the comments I got from the inmates, a couple of them were chuckling like, yeah, good luck finding me. Um, but we saw close to 110 inmates be released by court order. And um, you know, we, we weren't in favor of that at all. Uh, we've seen our inmate count go down dramatically uh, from a high of say 475 to about 307 now. Uh, many of those numbers are people that were getting out at the end of their sentence anyway. But because of the court ruling, uh, you saw a lot of men back out on the streets who were not getting the services they needed.